The concluding night of the summit brought together yet again various stakeholders and key personnel in gender movements across Botswana. The award ceremony aimed at recognizing and commending participants who are actively engaged in advancing the gender protocol in Botswana. With a wide range of categories, runner-ups and jovial speeches, the ceremony truly was a fitting finale to the past two days of the summit. Minister of Labour and Home Affairs Mr. E. Batu spoke of the long-lasting relationship Botswana has had with gender links and the fruits the partnership has borne thereof. I would like to indicate that our partnership with gender links dates as far back as 2009 when they opened a satellite office in Harmony to cascade the regional gender links program at the local level. A crucial commitment indeed as Botswana is the headquarters of the Southern African uh, Development Community, SADC, uh, for short. Since its established establishment in Botswana, Gender Links has been providing consistent support to the national gender program with particular focus on mainstream gender in the media and local governments. To this end, Gender Links has established strong partnership with my ministry, that is the Ministry of Labour and Home Affairs. as well as the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. General consensus for achievers of the night was that the competition and award ceremony cast hope upon their lives as all they learned through the entire experience truly adds value to their journeys in the gender arena. It is not the Ministry of Labour and Home Affairs alone. It is not the Ministry of Local Government alone. It is not gender links alone. It is not bad alone. Everybody must be on board. This issue is matter is here and and we need each one of us to ask ourselves what is my contribution towards achieving these gender issues? What is it that I'm supposed to do? Not what is it that someone else is to do? It was then that the moment that all had been waiting for was upon us. The categories for awards extended through key areas amongst them being urban centers of excellence, climate change, faith-based organizations and economic justice and education. Stepping Stones founder Lisa Jamu, who scooped the award under gender-based violence, shared her view on how to further deal with gender-based violence matters. I'm so excited and honored to actually be awarded this the award for gender-based violence category. And the reason is, is that I don't think that the country looks enough at child sexual abuse. And so for me, it's an honor, but it's also a statement to say that now we need to take action in our project for gaining traction by action. And by that action, we need to make sure that there's no more child sexual abuse in the country and that we really push Article 11 of the SADC protocol. The overall energy of the event remained high, despite participants' anticipation towards the actual award ceremony. The 2015 National Summit depicts growth and progression for gender matters in Botswana. With participants such as these playing an active role in their communities, the sky surely is the limit for gender links. This is Carol Comas of Agenda Links News Service, Khaburone.